Hey y'all, welcome back to Handmade. I am Jill and this is my little best friend. What's your name? Maggie. This is my daughter Maggie. Guys, we are staying safe at home as I'm sure all of you are. And if you're a parent, you can probably relate. It's been a lot of quality time together, hasn't it? Yeah, a lot of meals, a lot of cooking, a lot of cleaning, a lot of work calls, a lot of school. It's been a lot. So truthfully, I've been trying to come up with some creative ways to keep Maggie engaged and she's really been liking science experiments. Ooh. So we thought we'd try a few out today and see if you liked them. Let's get started. Okay, so Maggie and I are ready to get started. You can see she has on an apron and goggles for safety. Those are my goggles. You sneaked and took my goggles. Can you put yours on yourself? Because we are working with chemicals, we do want to be sure to be safe and wear eye protection, hand protection. Um, because the hydrogen peroxide we're using is a higher volume than you can buy at most drugstores, it could possibly irritate or burn your skin, so we want to be sure we are protected. So, hard part, let's get Maggie's gloves on. Spread those fingers. There you go. Perfect. And I already have these in my kids' craft supplies, but I know that plastic disposable gloves are um, really important right now, so I didn't want to waste any, so I'm just going to use gardener gloves. But again, just something to make sure that you are protected when working with the chemical. So, ready? Let's make this elephant toothpaste. We just have regular dish soap. And how old are you, Maggie? Four. She's four. So maybe let's do four drops in there, okay? Good job. You want to do it to mommy's bottle too? Okay. For you? Yeah, do, let's not tell how old I am. Let's do four. Next step. This is a job for mommy. This is my hydrogen peroxide. And I'm going to add half a cup to each. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour one cup. But this is the whole reason we're wearing gloves and stuff. Very carefully. Let's see. All right, so you said you're going to do stripes. Mm -hmm. What color food coloring do you want? Um, I'm going to do pink and purple. Pink and purple, that'll be beautiful. Good idea. Okay, so I've got pink and purple for you. I'm gonna do blue. So to do stripes, I'm gonna let you do it. I'll hold it down, yep, and just squirt some to run down one side of the bottle. So we'll hold it steady. Okay, that's good. That's plenty for pink. I'm gonna do. So now we'll do purple on the other side, right? And we are not going to mix this together. Perfect. Okay, that was good. Very good. Very good. Mommy is gonna do, I'm gonna do blue. I, I, I'm gonna do Sure. This. Go ahead and give me five drops in there. Now, we're gonna make our magic potion. We're just gonna use yeast. Do you know what yeast is made for? Yeah. What do people make with yeast, do you know? Bread. Oh, good job. I didn't know like if you made it. bread. Yeah, we did make bread, didn't we? So I'm gonna empty one packet of yeast with one fourth cup of very warm water. That's plenty. Okay, and we're gonna stir it. I'm gonna hold the funnel on the top. You're going to pour this in quickly, and then I'll pull the funnel out of the way, and we're gonna see what happens, okay? So, hang on just a second. Let me get situated. Okay, pour it in quickly. Let's see what happens. Good job. Whoa! Ooh, look at that purple. And you can see it's steamy. It's very hot. You do not want to touch it until it's completely cooled off. That looks beautiful. That looks great. Look, it's still coming out. Look how pretty that That's looks. That's a pink. Yeah. That's a pink. Lots of pink and purple. Yours is beautiful. Okay. Woo! Woo! That's pretty, huh? That one shot high. Yeah. So here's what makes it a science experiment. When we mixed that active yeast, with the hydrogen peroxide, it made something, a reaction called a catalyst. Can you say catalyst? Catalyst. Catalyst. Do you know what that means? Mm -mm. Because the yeast acted as a catalyst, it quickly broke apart the oxygen from the peroxide. 
And we saw that in the bubbles that formed. And then the foam and the bubbles were warm. That's called an exothermic reaction. Yeah. Say that, it's kind of tricky. Exothermic. Exothermic, exactly. You look like a mad scientist. Oh, well, I lost my helper. So, this is our elephant toothpaste. Looks awesome, we're gonna clean this up and we are gonna get ready to start our love lamps. And we're gonna go on a walk. And after that, we're gonna go on a walk. Okay, so we're back. You can see our bottles are washed out from our last experiment. And now we're gonna do one that we can keep in these. We are going to make DIY lava lamps. And this is a great beginner science project and it's also a really good one to do right now because you probably actually already have most of the ingredients or the supplies in your house. Again, recycled plastic water bottles, vegetable oil. Yeah, set it by yours. We'll use it next. Food coloring and it's acid tablets. So all we're gonna do first, Maggie and I both have one cup of tap water and we are gonna choose one color each. Which color, Max? Oh, I love that idea. Okay, there's your orange. I think mommy is gonna do, I wanna do purple, I think. Okay, so can you count to 20? You're gonna add 20 drops in your water. That's kind of a lot, huh? Careful, okay. Good job, and that's good. Max is gonna be real colorful because she used pretty much the entire bottle. That was good. Okay, I'm gonna do mine real quick. Okay. No, no, I'm gonna do 20. Woohoo! All right, so now we just stir it in our water. To mix it. I said? No, you can use your spoon. Okay, I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna put it in your bottle, mm -hmm. and we're gonna fill the bottle about three fourths of the way full of this vegetable oil. So you're just gonna pour, and I'm gonna tell you when to stop, okay? And a little bit more. Give it another good. Oh, well, hey, that worked out perfectly, huh? use the whole bottle, but that's perfect. That's about three fourths, so that's great. Get that out of the way. Now, now we put the food coloring. Hang on one second, mommy's gonna do the same. So we have our oil. Now we're gonna pour in our colored water. Oh, see how it's already, you see the pretty bubbles in mommy's? Mm -hmm. But see how it's all going to the bottom? That's good. That's good, look how pretty already. Now here comes the magic part. These are antacid tablets. People use these if they have an upset tummy or heartburn or something like that, but it's made with something cool. It's gonna make a really neat bubble thing. So that's one, so can you break it into some pieces? Drop a piece in and let's see what happens. Just one at a time. What happened? See all the bubbles start to go up? Look how cool. Huh. Isn't that beautiful? That how beautiful is that? Um, you want to do mine? Yeah. Do it in mine. Oh, it's so pretty. So here's the science part of it again. I told you at the beginning, water and oil didn't mix, right? You saw the oil at the top and all the water like right now floated to the bottom, mm -hmm. right? But these Little tablets, these are made of sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. When those mix with the water, it makes carbon dioxide. Do you know what carbon dioxide is? No. Every time people and animals breathe, they make carbon dioxide. So that's what makes the bubbles when those two things mix. Pretty cool, huh? Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know in the comments below what other experiments or maybe crafts you would like us to try. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And most importantly, remember, stay home and stay crafty. Thanks for watching.